uh, when using the substitution method, so simultaneous equations, uh, this is how we do use it. Uh, but remember to like, share our lessons, to comment on our lessons, also subscribe to the channel, press that subscription button. So when solving using the substitution method, because we have a set of two equations whereby we need to get a pair of answers, which is the X and Y values for these answers. So the first thing that we do is that we solve an equation of one variable. That is, we express one of the variables in terms of the other. So like here, you can choose to express X in terms of Y. That is making X the subject of the formula. Or you can choose to express Y in terms of X. So after doing that, you now substitute what you've made the subject into the equation of another. So if you used X from the first equation, now you substitute for X into the second equation. So you go ahead and solve the equation. Uh, so if you have to look at here and what we do, for example, uh, this is the first equation and this is our second equation here. So the second equation, y is already the subject of the formula, or oh, it's already expressed in terms of x. So we shall use y from equation two and substitute it into equation one. So that's why uh, in equation one, we are substituting for y as three minus x because from equation two, y equals three plus x. So we substitute three plus x here where we see y. And then we go ahead and solve for x. So end up getting x as being equivalent to one. So when we substitute for y, this equation only remains in terms of x, meaning that we can go ahead and work out and get the value of x. Uh, so when we do that, uh, it means that uh, we can now, since we already have one of the unknowns, so it means that we can now go ahead and look for another unknown, which is remaining, and that is the y value. So to solve the y value, uh, we shall substitute for x in any of these two equations, whether the first one, the first equation or the second equation, since we already have the value of X as being equivalent to one, you can either substitute it in the first equation or the second equation to get the value of Y. So if we substitute in the first one, we shall end up getting Y as four. So even if you substitute into the second one, you end up getting Y as equivalent to four. So finally, we have two answers, Y equals one, Y equals four, sorry, and then X equals one. So X is finally equal to one and Y equals four. So these two answers are the solutions to the simultaneous equations that we are given. Uh, if you look at another example uh, of solving using this substitution method, so the other example is here, we have these two equations here, uh, we are supposed to solve them. So in this case, we make X the subject of the formula. So when we make X the subject of the formula from the first equation, X will be equivalent to seven minus three Y or negative three Y plus seven. So we substitute for X into the second equation, which is this one here. So where there is X, we are going to put negative three Y plus seven. So you can see how we are putting negative three Y plus seven here minus two y equals to zero. So this equation here has y only, so we solve it and go ahead and find the value of y, as you can see. So we go ahead, solve this, and we get y as two. So after getting the value of y as two, we can substitute for y in any of these two equations here to find the value of x. So when we do that, we end up getting x as being equivalent to one. So finally, we've solved the two equations where x is one and y is two. These two answers are the solutions to our simultaneous equation. So remember to subscribe to our channel, share, like, and comment on our lessons.